welcome to Salzburg, Austria. This is the first time I've ever come to Austria. I'm really excited to explore this country and city. So Salzburg is known as being a city famous for Mozart, famous for salt mining, and this is the home of Red Bull. If you're in Salzburg, we found a really cool parking spot. It's actually inside of a cave. So the parking rates are two euro and 40 cents an hour, and it seems to be a pretty safe place to park. Not that far to get into the old town. So if you're in Salzburg, we recommend you park here. It's called Linzer Gassi. You can't miss it. It's literally inside a mountain. <laughs> We're going to take these stairs to go up Kampusenerberg. This is the spot where it has really nice views over the city of Salzburg. The viewing platform where we are is on the north side of the city and now we're going to head towards the southern part. So we're going to explore the old town. It's called Altstadt and it's where most of the tourist attractions are in Salzburg. It's literally just over my shoulder so it shouldn't be too far of a walk. As we just came down the stairs, we got a glimpse of the castle. It's perched right on top of the hill. We've made it and we're on the bridge. The views from here are so nice. We've crossed over. Now we are on the south part of the city. Now we're taking a stroll down the main shopping street called Get Ride Gas. And this street's pretty unique because if you look above the storefront, there are decorative signs above each one. And I think a long time ago, before people could read, they would put symbols like maybe a lock to represent a locksmith shop or a shoe to represent a shoe store. So now I think every single store on the street has a unique decorative sign. So it's kind of cool to check them all out. Another cool thing about the street is it has the birth house of Mozart. So for all you classical fans, this is a very key spot. You can also go inside, it's a museum, so you can check out the Mozart family house and see what life in Salzburg was like during his time in the 1700s, I believe. If you want to go inside the museum, I believe it's 11 euros, and the Mozart family lived on the third floor of this building. You can't miss Mozart's house. It's bright yellow, and there's a bunch of people taking photos. All right, I think Ali and I should both pick our favorite sign on this street. I've walked down the entire street. I think I've made my selection. My favorite sign is at Stasky. It is a clothing store. They have traditional Austrian clothes. It's my pick. I think for me, it has to be Zara. This was like the most ostentatious. I'd choose that, yeah. If you're in Salzburg, you have to come visit Cafe Conditori. This place is famous for Mozart Kugel, which is chocolate balls. The famous confectioner, Paul First, created these, I think in 1895. Ali is gonna try the original Mozart ball. This was 160. I can't try it, unfortunately, because it has pistachios and I'm allergic to pistachios, so I'm really bummed because I wanted to try the original. But I got the vanilla truffle nougat one. Uh, this one does not have pistachio. This one was two euros. Man, the chocolate is so rich and creamy. It's really good. And I believe that's marzipan in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's a unique little flavor. It's pretty good. I can't really taste the pistachio at all, but the chocolate, really good. Like Ali said, this chocolate is a really good chocolate. This one's kind of like fudgy. It's got like a little nougat. I can't really taste the vanilla. It tastes just more like chocolate, but the chocolate is very good chocolate. Now we've come to University Square and they have a market in the square. This area has like food trucks and different market stalls set up. It's also the backside of Mozart's house and this place I think is the spot where you're supposed to get the pretzels that are as big as your head. So we're on the lookout for those pretzels. Hi there. Okay, there's so many pretzel choices. Let's take a look and see what they have. Holly asked the man a million questions about which one's the best and then she ended up getting the original one. The guy was kind of disappointed, but it doesn't matter because I've never seen a bigger smile on Holly's face than I have now. <laughs> well, he said that the pizza one was his favorite savory one and that the chocolate one with jam was his favorite sweet one. They looked really good, but they're really big pretzels and Ali isn't going to share it with me, so I have to finish it all by myself. <laughs> Look at the size of this pretzel. It is like the size of my head. <laughs> I think it would be better if it was a warm pretzel. It's 
kind of a cold pretzel. Underwhelming. Underwhelming. We have slowly meandered our way to the main square and this is where the Salzburg Cathedral is and they've got a massive fountain. So right here in the main square, the fountain behind me was, Ali mentioned that this is a famous place for the sound of music and this was one of the filming locations. From the main square, you can even take a horse and carriage ride. It seems like every corner we turn around, you can always see the castle in the background. Right next to the main square is Mozart Platz, and this is just a square dedicated to Mozart. A lot going on in this square. Looks like there's a giant golden ball. There's a chess set, the castle, the cathedral. It's a vibe. A fountain. <laughs> <laughs> So where we are is literally on the other side of Salzburg Cathedral. Since being south of the river, we've just been exploring the old town of Salzburg. And now we're going to head upstream to a restaurant that is known for its fried chicken. So this is a food that I can definitely get behind. The rain is coming in, so we're going to double time it and get some fried chicken. We overestimated our speed to get to the restaurant and underestimated the speed that the rain would get here. Luckily we have found shelter in a bus stop. Let's hope the rain goes away really quickly. The walk along the river to the restaurant is really nice. I wish it wasn't raining but it's still a nice walk. Alright, the restaurant we've decided to come to for lunch is called Baronwurst and they're famous for having the best deep fried chicken in Austria. Ali's ordered the chicken and I'm gonna get the cheese dumplings. This is exactly what I needed. Perfect chicken that's been fried. It's so hot though. I think I'm gonna give it a break. I mean, fried chicken in itself is a winning combination, but this is really good. The skin and the meat are just perfectly cooked. It's soft but crunchy at the same time. With Ali's half of fried chicken, he also got some potato salad. And when I tell you this potato salad is good, it is good. I think it's got cheese on the inside of it. Yeah, it does. I think it's just like cheese on the inside in like a, a broth. Try this. It's kind of like a crab cake. That food was delicious. I can't decide what was better. The fried chicken was great. The potato salad arguably was even better. And Holly's cheese dumpling was also a strong shout. This restaurant is a total win. The food is a little bit expensive, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. One portion will sort you out for the rest of the day. So definitely, if you're in Salzburg, you have to come here. Just have the potato salad in itself. It was so good. I'm actually disappointed that we didn't order more potato salad. I had no idea. It was just kind of hiding over in the corner. Ali wasn't even touching it. And I was like, oh, let me just try a bite of your potatoes. Oh, so good. I could have just had that as my whole meal. I kind of want to get some for takeaway. After that delicious but heavy meal, I feel like we need to walk it off. We're going to be heading towards the north side towards a place called Mirabel's Palace. The sun is now out and it just looks so beautiful in Salzburg. <laughs> oh yeah, it's perfect weather now. It was raining and now it's clear blue skies. So it's gonna be really nice when we get to the gardens. We've just entered Mirabel Gardens and it's springtime. There are tulips, beautiful flowers blooming everywhere. This park is, this garden is just beautiful. Right across from Mirabel Palace is Virgil Garden and this is Europe's oldest dwarf garden. It was built in 1695. We are just inside Mirabel Palace and this has one of the most beautiful marble rooms which we're just gonna go and see. This place is so fancy and intricate on the inside. It's gorgeous. hall is used as a wedding hall so I think this is maybe where they have wedding receptions. Very nice. We've decided to end our vlog 
in probably the prettiest place in Salzburg, in the Mirabel Gardens. We had the best day in Salzburg. This city, I had no idea how beautiful it was and it's just blown me away. Thank you so much for watching our Salzburg vlog. We have new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and get your one-way ticket with us. Stay tuned for our next vlog. We go back to one of our favorite countries, Germany, and explore all that Munich has to offer.